His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to the kingdom today after heading Bahrain's delegation to the full summit of South American and Arab countries, the ASPA, which concluded today in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. His Majesty the King had earlier left Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, expressing his appreciation to King Salman, the government and people of Saudi Arabia, for the hospitality His Majesty received during his participation in the summit, along with their Majesties and Highnesses, the heads of delegations. His Majesty said that such a welcome and hospitality reflected the deep and strong relations linking Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and their peoples. His Majesty expressed his sincere feelings and pleasure of participating in the summit, which was an opportunity to consult and exchange views on matters of interest to the people and the security and stability of the region, the Arab and Islamic nation and the world as a whole. His Majesty went on to say that the sessions generated decisions that would meet the aspirations of people of the region in various fields. His Majesty the King wished the custodian of the two holy mosques health and happiness and for Saudi Arabia and its people further progress and prosperity under its wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa participated today in the closing session of the full summit of South American Arab countries, the ASPA, which was chaired by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, at the King Abdulaziz Conference Center in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. The Secretary General of the summit, Abdulaziz Al Saga, delivered the closing statement in which he affirmed the importance of achieving a peaceful solution to the Palestinian cause according to international resolutions and the Arab peace initiatives that aim to achieve an independent state with Jerusalem as its capital. He also stressed the necessity of achieving a peaceful solution to the Syrian conflict as per the Vienna meeting of resolving the crisis in Yemen through implementing the Security Council's decisions, especially decision 2216, and of supporting political dialogue in Libya under the umbrella of the United Nations. Participants expressed their rejection of any interference in the region's domestic affairs and emphasised the necessity of respecting the unity and sovereignty of countries. The closing statement also requested Iran's response regarding the three UAE islands, Tumb al-Kubra, Tumb al-Sugra and Abu Musa. In accordance with the UN's charter and international law, in addition to intensifying international efforts regarding nuclear threats. Participants also agreed on condemning all forms of terrorism and encouraging investment because of its major role in social and economic development. They also stressed the political support of Arab and Latin American countries through the UN General Assembly Resolution No. 69 of Clause 319 for the restructuring sovereign debt. Participants welcomed Venezuela's hosting of the next summit of South American Arab countries and expressed their thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, Saudi Arabia's leadership and people for their warm welcome. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, expressed his thanks to their majesties, royal highnesses, presidents and delegation leaders for their participation in the summit. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Saudi Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Mahabdulaziz Al Saud on the sidelines of the Arab South American summit and explored with him the strong fraternal ties. 
His Majesty commended the constantly growing bilateral ties in all fields in the interest and welfare of both countries and people. The meeting then discussed the agenda of the summit meeting. The fourth summit of South American Arab countries, the ASPA, welcomed the initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to establish an Arab Court of Human Rights in response to the aspirations of Arab countries and affirming the prevalence of law, which was endorsed at the 2013 Doha summit and at the 2014 Arab League summit in Kuwait. The initiative calls for cooperation and the exchange of expertise between the American and Arab Courts of Human Rights. The ASPA Riyadh Declaration also welcomed His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa winning the award of the Organization for Harmony Among Religions and Civilizations in recognition of His Majesty the King's contributions and his role in enhancing constructive dialogue between various religions and civilizations and in promoting respect among different societies. The summit declaration also voiced appreciation for Bahrain's hosting of the Culture and Civilization Dialogue in May 2014. The summit welcomed Bahrain's hosting of the International Conference on Combating the Funding of Terrorism and its Sources in November 2014. The Riyadh summit also welcomed Bahrain's upcoming holding of a conference on protecting civil societies from the danger of being exploited for funding terrorism and a ministerial forum on implementing the development goals in Arab countries planned for December 2015. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired today a work meeting with a number of deputy premiers and ministers on the kingdom's general economic trends. His Royal Highness gave directives for the adoption of agendas that better enable Bahrain to contain the decline in state revenues caused by financial challenges and compensate for the drop in oil prices. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the kingdom's honourable achievements and its positive development over the past years and decades, including achieving acceptable economic growth rates, maintaining very low unemployment rates, bringing about a quantum leap in many vital economic sectors, developing and modernising all infrastructure facilities and ensuring easy financing and consultation for small and medium-sized enterprises, as well as continuous pay rises in the public and private sectors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then reviewed the latest developments regarding the steady decline of oil prices on global markets, stressing that the issue needs to be handled with the highest levels of professionalism in order to adapt to the current situation in a way that doesn't affect citizens or the economic and social gains they have achieved in the past. His Royal Highness emphasised that in order to deal with the requirements and nature of the coming phase, effective policies and steps are needed to increase revenues, reduce spending, create new economic activities and encourage investments in various economic sectors to protect the national economy. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Majesty's personal representative for charity and youth affairs and chairman of the board of trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulating His Majesty on Bahrain ranking first in the Gulf and Arab region and 13th in the world for the World Contribution Index 2015. The evaluation covered 145 countries and the results were issued this week. Congratulating His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, said that Bahrain had achieved such international standing in great part because of the directives and support of His Majesty the King and His Majesty's humanitarian and caring approach for the needy in various countries. He noted that His Majesty's support of the Royal Charity Organization had encouraged and motivated the staff to achieve His Majesty's vision. Sheikh Nasser pledged to exert more effort and dedication to further meet the vision of His Majesty the King through the work of the Royal Charity Organization. The index reflects the size of humanitarian aid and rescue operations provided by Bahrain to victims of wars, conflicts and natural disasters. The index took into account the aid provided by Bahrain in the form of building schools and hospitals and other voluntary work, but not the financial support. Among the main projects implemented by Bahrain are Bahrain's hospital in Somalia, Bahrain Hall in Somalia University, a water well in Somalia, building a complex for the Syrian people in Zatari camp in Jordan and the Kingdom of Bahrain school in Gaza. 
The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronised today the inauguration ceremony of the third edition of the Gulf Forum for Political Media, organised by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD. The Deputy Prime Minister stressed the importance of the media's role in raising awareness of combating terrorism in order to maintain global peace and security. He noted that the Kingdom had managed to set an example of unity amongst its citizens in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister praised the BIPD's hosting of the event for the third consecutive year, wishing participants and speakers at the forum success in delivering new recommendations for promoting the concept of civil peace through media. There is a big impact, especially on media and social media, the new uh, media, as, as they mentioned, of educating and uh, enlightening people and uh, bringing the truth to the people. Uh, although this is a positive side, but it has another negative side where people misuse this social media, misuse this freedom to uh, harm their societies. Uh, I, I think it's, it's important, as the recommendation mentioned in the Institute, uh, about uh, committing uh, of the truth, uh, mentioning uh, positive and negatives being transparency, uh, trying to involve all the society, uh, in rejecting the speech and the words of hate. Uh, I think this is one of the important factors. In, a, in, uh, in addition of that, we have Iran on the other side of the Gulf. They are not committing of anything. There are 52 uh, TV and radio channel uh, is focusing on Bahrain and the Gulf in a hostile way. 25 of them, TV stations, stationed in Iraq, supported by the Iranian to attack or to uh, involve in Bahrain. And I think this is not fair. Uh, I think the other people must respect also uh, and, uh, and help in, in maintaining peace and, and, and stability in the region.